we're going to talk about one of the most fundamental concepts in statistics, the normal distribution. You might have heard it called the bell curve, and for good reason, its characteristic shape resembles a bell, symmetric and centered around the mean. Now, why is this distribution so important? The short answer is, it shows up everywhere. In nature, psychology, finance, education, you name it. Heights, blood pressure, IQ scores, measurement errors, stock returns, many of these phenomena tend to follow, or at least approximate, a normal distribution. Let's go over some of its properties. First, it's defined by two parameters, the mean, mu, which tells us the center of the distribution, and the standard deviation, sigma, which measures the spread. The smaller the standard deviation, the steeper and narrower the bell. A larger standard deviation gives us a wider, flatter curve. Now here's where it gets interesting. About 68% of the data under a normal curve lies within one standard deviation of the mean. About 95% lies within two, and roughly 99.7% falls within three. This is known as the empirical rule, and it allows us to make quick estimates about probabilities without doing complicated calculations. One of the key reasons the normal distribution appears so often is the central limit theorem. It tells us that, under certain conditions, the sum, or average, of a large number of independent random variables tends to be normally distributed, regardless of the original distribution of the variables. It's a powerful idea, the normal distribution emerges naturally from randomness and aggregation.